and um, that's Andy's bed. This is a window, and down there we have the tram line. And if he gets bored watching the trams out of the window, if we come out the front of our room, Bye -bye. that's the lift. and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit of a weird vlog. It's a vlog of our entire weekend in Birmingham. You can see from behind me we're currently in a hotel room and uh, it's Sunday morning. The weekend for me has already happened even though you haven't seen it yet. It's, it's going to be a strange video. The reason it's a strange video is because of the video we put out yesterday and I felt we had to get that one out while it was time sensitive and while everyone was asking questions and the easiest way to fit it in was to squash this video down into a full weekend in one vlog kind of affair. The only problem is when I recorded the first half of it I didn't know I was going to be doing that so there might be a few moments in this vlog where it just seems a little bit weird and disjointed. That's why because it was originally supposed to be two videos and few Kev will have done his best to squash it down into one video. Hopefully you'll still enjoy it. If you do, as ever, make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff. But I'm now going to hand you back to past Kev from yesterday morning and I've got a suspicion he'll probably try and reintroduce the vlog. If he does, just ignore him. We, we all do, to be honest. Folks and welcome to today's vlog. We are in the centre of Birmingham. You can just see the shininess just there. It is Birmingham New Street train station. We've just arrived. It's just after lunch. We've there's trains down there as well, which is going to keep Andy amused. Um, we've just pulled into what is apparently the cheapest 24-hour parking in Birmingham. There's no parking at our hotel. I'm not actually sure from here exactly where our hotel is. I know how to get there from the train station. So I think our plan is to head there and then kind of head across to where the hotel is. But we are going to have a look at the trams. We're here just to have a weekend of having a look around. If you remember back in November time last year, we identified what could possibly be the most perfect hotel for Andy. I'm actually thinking a trip here with Andy might be in order in the near future. That tram, that's the one he watches the most on YouTube, the Wolverhampton tram. He's never been on it, but he just always watches it. But I've just realised there we have the tram line, just there we have the train station, just there we have a Premier Inn that we could stay in. That would be like his dream holiday. So it looked like a perfect opportunity to come and explore and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to go and get ourselves checked into the hotel, dump our stuff and then explore Birmingham and see what we can find. We've just checked into the hotel. Lighting's terrible in here. That is really terrible. We've just checked into the hotel. Um, that's Andy's bed. This is a window. And down there, we have the tram line. I mentioned before, yeah, that's where we just came in. Um, I mentioned before, back in November, that this was gonna be the most perfect hotel for Andy. There's your proof. Now it's going to be a battle to get him out at any point today because he will happily just sit there watching the trams out the window and if he gets bored watching the trams out the window, if we come out the front of our room, Bye -bye. that's the lift. He's got within 10 yards, lift, tram. This might be the weirdest city break in the history of the world where we just don't leave the room at all. He's already pulled the neck curtains down, but I guess that's easier than having to move them every time he wants to look out the window. I'm going to be doing some time lapses out of here. What are you doing, Andy? Going to tram. Yeah, we can go on the tram soon. In one minute. Yeah, if you want. We're going to tram this side, yeah. Yeah, and also, to just down there, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, but I can see. To Birmingham, That's yeah? the Apple Store, so I can see. I can see them all doing Apple Store things just the other side of those windows. 
Well, that's us all checked in. We're back out in the lovely sunshine again. It's very, very busy. We're kind of getting bumped around and pushed around everywhere. It's busier than I've ever known anywhere being. It doesn't look it around me right now because we've come down here, but up on the bit outside the hotel, we were struggling to get out of the door. There were so many people coming past, which Andy didn't really care for. But we are now making our way back down to the trams where we're gonna work out what the deal is to just sit and ride the tram for a little while. I did look last night, apparently it takes 40 minutes to get from here all the way across to Wolverhampton on the tram, which is a tram journey Andy's been talking about for years. Well, we gave Andy free reign to get on and off and do whatever he wanted as much as he wanted. And we've ridden the tram all the way down to the other end. We're now in Wolverhampton. I've never been here before in my life. So we're now on a bit of a mission because I can't get straight. We were on there about 40 minutes. I cannot get straight back on that tram and ride it back again. Trams make me feel queasy at the best of times if I try and do nearly an hour and a half in one, in one go it will ruin me. So, our plan now, we're gonna try and find somewhere where we can stock up on crisps and pop for Andy because we didn't have a lot at home. Yeah, I'll carry it. We didn't have a huge amount at home and we just forgot to bring enough with us. We've got like 10 bags of crisps, a couple of pops. We assumed there'd be somewhere nearby where we could just buy that kind of stuff, but looking at where the hotel is in Birmingham, it's very, very city centre-y, no supermarkets. So we're hoping, being now in the centre of Wolverhampton, there'll be something a bit more supermarket-y. There's a Marks and Spencer's over there, that might have food. No, they don't. We've been in a Marks and Spencer's before and they never carry anything underneath. Yeah. We'll find something. We're going to explore Wolverhampton for a few minutes. Well, we didn't find a supermarket, so we haven't been able to get in crisps in bulk, but we have found a Greg's. So we'll be able to get them for 70p a bag, which is almost as good. It's not. It's <laughs> seven pounds. I know. We'll, we will find a suit. We're so disorganised. We're awful, useless people. Well, that concludes our very brief trip to Wolverhampton. We've been here. About 15 minutes would be my guess, no, maybe a little longer. <laughs> and we're now going to get the, tra the tram all the way back to the other end of the line in Birmingham, which will bring us right outside our hotel. And then Andy wants to go back to the room for a bit, presumably to kneel on the bed, look out the window. It's his weekend, not yours. I know. Anna keeps reminding me that it's okay if he wants to spend most of it in the, in the hotel. This was the one for him. I had VidCon, me and Anna had London the week before. This one is specifically for Andy, but Stop it. I can't help but think, yes, it was, we've deliberately brought him somewhere we know is going to be fun for him, but it was also part of a training exercise to get him ready for when we go to Disney, because he I don't... To go there. I know, but I don't... He wanted to come here, and now no, all he, he wants, wants to do is sit in the hotel. I know. Disney, we've got two premier inns in between, so we've got Mayor something was. to drive with. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to the hotel for a bit. He can do whatever he needs to do. I did bring some comics and my switch with me, so I've got things to keep me amused. There's Tokyo Toys just across the road as well, so I might head out and have a little nose about in Tokyo <laughs> Toys. What of it? <laughs> and then we'll head back out again a little bit later on, because we've got to go out and get some dinner anyway, and we still haven't got him any crisps. So, it's called Deliveroo. We cannot kangaroo anything. <laughs> and we can't kangaroo him some crisps. So, regardless, we've got to go out and get Andy some crisps and pop. He'll get, he'll get hungry and thirsty at some point. Not Amy. That's an Andy. <laughs> Constantly getting heckled. He'll get hungry at some point, and then he'll have to leave the room. That's what I'm relying on. I want to starve him out of there. Go, 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 go. 
45 minutes later, we are back in the middle of Birmingham. I didn't film any of the journey because I may have fallen asleep, much to Anna's amusement and annoyance. Uh, did you take any pictures of me sleeping? Uh, apparently I woke up just as she was, I woke up to Anna's phone in my face. Why are we walking this side? This doesn't feel safe. I think we were supposed to be the other side of the barrier. But we're back in the centre of Birmingham, we're going to go and head back into the hotel now. It's about three o'clock, so we could probably have a couple of hours in there, let him film some trams, come up in the room. Yeah, he, need, he needs a poo. He needs to go to the toilet. He's been trumping for the last hour or so. So we're going to head back to the room, chill out for a bit. I'm possibly going to head out on a crisp hunt on my own. Plus, Tokyo Toys and Forbidden Planet, which are both. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'd obviously bring them with me, but I'm going to buy some crisps while I'm out as well. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do for dinner. So, here we are in the lift. And just to show just how close our room is, so leaving the lift. We could have been in that lift, mm -hmm. but this is our room. I'm just going to keep demonstrating this every time we go back and forth. And then we come in here, our room. And there we have the trams. I'm excited about this situation, even if nobody else is. Just got those two settled into the hotel, and thanks to the genius that is Instagram Live, we've identified the nearest place that should sell crisps is this Tesco, which is pretty much next door to the hotel, which is brilliant. Well, Tesco Express in the station was no good. They only had ready salt and cheese and onion. I have noticed there's a Tesco Metro out here. I don't know, Metro, which is bigger? Metro Express, I'm confused. This is relatively close to the comic shop I want to go to as well, which is handy. So we're going to have a little look in there. I love the fact that the Tesco Metro is on possibly the greatest named street in the world. What a name for a street, Needless Alley. And there's nothing down there. Perfect. So we're going to try this one. If this doesn't work, Anna's just been on Deliveroo. And apparently on Deliveroo, you can get Walker's crisps delivered where we are which would be insane and expensive, but it's an option. Well, it is now about 20 past five. We've been back in the hotel for a good couple of hours. And uh, this boy behind me here, he's not really got any interest at all in going out again today. He is having the time of his life. He's in his favorite hotel. He's got a nice supply of Chris. Yeah, he's got a nice supply of crisps with pop. He's got his bed situation down here where he's got the bed, a plug down there for his iPad so he can lie in bed on his iPad. Every, we reckon about every six minutes or so, there's a tram that runs down there. And if he gets really bored of all of that, he can just open the door and there's a lift. So. I don't know that we're going to be leaving the hotel before we check out sort of tomorrow lunchtime. Like we said earlier, this is the, this is a weekend for Andy. We had, me and Anna had our weekend two weeks ago. I had my weekend with the girls last weekend. This is the weekend away with Andy. And this is how he wants to spend his weekend away. He's certainly a cheap trip because we've had to pay, I mean, this was another dirt cheap hotel in the January sales. It's cost us, I think it was like 45 pounds for the hotel room. It was really not expensive at all. Five pound for our trip to Wolverhampton on the tram. And we'll order in some delivery, I guess. But I don't think we're gonna be going out and seeing the sights of Birmingham. Cause he's he just, seen them all. yeah. <laughs> We've seen them before, but Andy has no interest in doing it. it. This is what he wants to do. He's having fun. It's one of those, one of those quirks and differences of being an autism family, I guess. It's all about picking activities and trips and things to do that your kids actually want to do. And the, I think the worst thing we could do in a situation like this is force Andy to go out, oh, come on, let's go and have a look around Birmingham. Let's go and find a church. Let's go and find this out of the other because it's not what he wants to do. He's been looking forward to coming to Premier Inn all year. Oh, well, so, I mean, when was the last time Andy stayed in the Premier Inn? The summer, was it? Well, we went to Blackpool. So Andy has, 
<laughs> he's not been in a Premier Inn since August. He's been looking forward to it since then. He just wants to be in here. And because it's so perfectly located, he doesn't even have to leave to see the trams. He can hear them as they go past. And when they go past, he just hops up and has a look down there. So I know it's been a weird video because of it, but he's having a great time. That's the important thing. Well, he kind of is. What do you mean? The TV. Oh yeah, the TV's not working, which I know we could go and let them know at reception that the TV's not working, but then they're gonna get us to change rooms to a room that's got a decent TV and we've got to pick our battle between do we want a TV that works, but potentially sacrifice the view of the trams and the lifts, or are we just gonna live in a world that doesn't have a working TV? And as you can hear, yeah, we've We've got internet in here, we've got iPads, we've got phones. As you can hear, he's not short of entertainment. He's playing Pac-Man at the moment, I think. Are you playing Pac-Man? Yes, he is. Not listening, he's that engrossed in the game of Pac-Man. So, I think the TV being working, being not working is fine. We'll do all right. And uh, I'm still just nosing over here. But you might be able to see better now. We've got a perfect view of what's going on in the Apple store down there. It's just been busy like that all afternoon. I don't understand why people spend so long in the pre in the Apple store. You are. I don't know why people are sat down. Yeah, it's mad. But there, I think there's people who there's people who've been in that Apple store for an hour at least. I might start monitoring individual people just sat here by the window. It is crazy. Andy has officially decided he doesn't want to go out anywhere for dinner. He just wants to stay in. So I've been sent out to get us some dinner. There was only one place that was going to be my first port of call. Got to get some bubble tea. Part two was obviously five guys. And he's got his pyjamas on and he's in the tram position. Yeah. We're going to eat. Well Andy's just having a bath and then we're going to go to bed I think. It's only, what is it, half past eight. We've been in the room since, what time did we come back? Like half three? Half three, four o'clock, obviously I've been out a couple of times doing some exploring. I've also been watching the Apple store as they clean up at the end of the day. Very interesting. I'm finding this Apple store down here far too interesting. I'm spending a lot of time just standing looking at the window. I am going nuts being trapped in a hotel room, but Andy's having the time of his life. He's having his bath now, and then he's gonna go to sleep, and then he wants to go home first thing in the morning, and I think we probably will do that. I know that wasn't quite what we had planned for this weekend, but the temptation for me of not having to edit the vlog together tonight and then struggle with hotel Wi-Fi and just head home, get home for like lunchtime and then edit the vlog at home is incredibly tempting and I think I'm gonna take that, take that offer up. We're still in Birmingham, still in our hotel. There's the trams still down there. We're and uh, down there. We're probably not going to be here for very long because Andy's already decided he just wants to get up and go home, Lively. as we suspected he would, but we long since gave up on trying to make him have an extended weekend of sightseeing and fun because he's just decided he didn't want to do that. We came back to the hotel relatively early yesterday. He stayed up relatively late watching trams out of the window and then woke up at 3 a.m. So we've been having a bit of a battle since 3 a.m. Not even necessarily to try and get him to go back to sleep, just to get him to turn the loud noise off on his iPad so we could sleep a little bit more. But we are, fair, it's fair to say, not particularly well rested. It's half past eight in the morning. We'll go down and grab some breakfast in a minute, which means Andy gets to go in the lift and then we'll have a look at the trams out the window and whatnot. But I think our plan is, reasonably soon to hit the road and head home but there might be adventure before then who knows I mean I've got to have a shower at some point because I'm still yesterday yeah the adventure of my shower I'm still on yesterday's hair and beard which is just not acceptable but I need breakfast and a lot of coffee before I can function enough to be able to stand up in the shower without injuring myself so we leave our room Nice there is the elevators. Okay. It is mad. It's a cone. Hotel breakfast, always a little bit of a challenge with Andy. Today we're going with toast and jam and water. He did pick it himself, so fingers crossed. And then eventually Anna might actually get her breakfast. <laughs> Well, he had a couple of bites and licked off a lot of jam and a couple of sips of water. One more bite. 
Big bite. Brad. Mm. Frustratingly, he eats toaster jam every day at school without any problem. We'll just eat the whole thing. And uh, we've almost run out of crisps again because he had so many in the night. He was up at three eating crisps. He was up again at half six eating crisps. He's got like, one bag left in the room. The shops don't open until 10, so we've got another hour before we can go and get him more crisps. I guess he's probably, he must have had maybe eight bags of crisps since last night. So he'll be okay. All of which leads you back to me. Current Kev sat back in this hotel room again, like I was at the start of the video. Like I said, bit odd in places, but hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs, normal daily vlogs again starting tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching.